Hello and welcome. The last thing we want to do on this part is to machine this uh, central pocket here. The depth of the pocket is negative 0.125. So let's get started. Uh, from tool paths, uh, we can extend the gallery here and what we are after is pocket. So we select pocket. The chaining dialog box will show up with chain set and a message here select pocket chain one so we click on this pocket okay. in order to reverse the direction of the arrow so that we can have a climb meaning I'm going to reverse the direction like this then we proceed to the next page on this page I'm going to select the tool so I'm going to use the same tool we used uh, to cut the contour in the previous uh, video so tool number three, uh, but I'm going to set the feed rate to 10 inches per minute, uh, plunge rate also 10 inches per minute, uh, spindle speed maybe 4000 RPM, retract rate 20 inch a minute. It is good always to add a comment. So we can say, for example, uh, mill the central the central pocket using and of half inch. Next, we go to cut parameters. So, machining direction is client milling. Uh, pocket type, we select standard pocket. And stock to leave on walls, I'm going to set this one to zero. Stock to leave on floors, also zero. So, we don't like to leave any material on wall or floors. Roughing. Uh, Cutting method is set to high speed. I'm going to change it to constant overlap. And the step over percentage, I'm going to set this one to 75%. Uh, display stock for constant overlap spiral. Spiral inside to outside. And I'm going to uncheck minimize tool burial. Next entry motion. Entry motion, we have two types. We have ramp or helix. Okay, so I'm going to set the entry motion to ramp and I'm going to accept all default values. For finishing, I will leave 10 thou for uh, finish pass and I will keep tool down. When I'm going to uncheck machine finish passes after wrapping all pockets because we have only one pocket, so I will activate machine finish passes only uh, at final depth all right keep tool down then lead in lead out i'm going to shrink this uh, entry length to 75 percent the arc radius also can be shrinked to 75 percent of the tool diameter so that is 0.375 then I'm going to copy all these things to the exit section by clicking on this uh, right arrow. Uh, linking parameters, clearance uh, 2 inches, uh, absolute, perfect. But I'm going to enable use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Retract position, absolute 0.15, that's fine. Feed plane set to 0.15 absolute. Uh, top of stock is zero. That is actually our Z zero. And for the depth, I'm going to set it to absolute negative 0.125. Then I would like to turn the coolant on. So flood and then on. Click OK. So that is our pocket uh, operation added to our tool party group one. Now we select all operation and then we verify our uh, operation. 
let us toggle to the isometric view and as you can see now we have four different colors which indicate four different operations when we play the first operation indicated with yellow which represents the uh, spot drill second operation marked with the blue color which represents the drilling operation then we have the contour machining two passes and final finish pass then we have uh, the new operation the pocket operation and as you can see as you can see we have left 10 thou on the wall for finish pass in order to get smooth uh, machine surface now the pocket is complete so everything looks good uh, the final thing that we need to do after that so that we have all we, we make sure that we select all uh, operations and the last thing that we want to do is to generate the G code so we click on G1 okay and then we click OK for file type and see file then we save our file Okay, in a proper place it takes a few seconds to generate the G code okay, so that's our G code this is exactly what we need to load it to machine the CNC machine and uh, run it to machine the part okay. so that's completed the uh, tutorial 3 in which we have done uh, four different operations spot drill drill uh, contour and pocket thanks for watching and see you soon